You may already have enough saved to retire, but retirement is not just all about money. In this video, I'll go through five ways every retiree can test drive retirement. Watch to the end and you'll understand what financial and non-financial or life items you may need to fix while you're still working so that you can have a successful retirement. If you go through these, you'll be able to emulate retirement with little risk. The five things you need to go through are the financial test, your identity test, location test, activity test, and the connection test. You need to do these five tests at least two years before retirement. Otherwise, you may end up with a miserable retirement. Amazon, Walmart, Costco, and most reputable brands are known for their generous return policies. We take this for granted, but these are designed to help make buying easier. When you buy a sweater online, it doesn't quite fit, you ship it back. Most times, return shipping is even included. This reduces purchase friction, and you don't need to spend too much time thinking about what you're going to buy if it's a low ticket item. Look at the trend, TikTok made me buy it. Most of these are impulse purchases and impulse decisions. However, the word impulse should be the furthest thing from retirement planning. As the weight of decisions increase, more thought and care should go into them. It's probably not smart to buy a car without test driving it first, right? If it's used, you won't go without checking the Carfax or getting a mechanical inspection. When buying a house or even renting a house, you'd wanna make sure you do a viewing and you walk through it first, right? I'm sure many of you look at your home and cars as major life decisions. So you make these decisions with care. Guess what? Retirement is a major, major life decision. So I want you to test drive it first. Retirement isn't a car that you can physically hop into. So you might be wondering how you could possibly test drive retirement. I'll go into the detail for the five mini tests that lead to a successful retirement test drive. Again, that's your financial test drive, your identity test drive, your location test drive, activity test drive, and your connection test drive. These five items will help you figure out if your vision of retirement is what it's cracked up to be. Remember how test drives make it easier for you to buy a car? Your retirement test drive will also make the retirement transition easier for you, allowing you to acclimate so you're not shocked when it's actually time for you to pull the trigger and turn in that resignation or your retirement notice. The financial test, AKA the budget test. There are many aspects to financial preparedness in retirement, but this test drive specifically addresses your budget, your planned retirement spending. Naturally, I'm assuming you already have a plan that help guide you on how much you can comfortably spend or afford monthly without running out of money in retirement. In my last video, I tackled the question, how much will you really spend in retirement? Be sure to check that out in the notes or the links in the comments below. Now, it's time to take those numbers from the spreadsheet land and apply them to real life. This step is particularly crucial if you're used to a high income and your retirement plan might entail a significant lifestyle reduction. For instance, I've advised many executives earning between 250 to half a million dollars a year. They're naturally accustomed to a certain way of living. Let's make up an example. Let's talk about Pete and MJ. They believe that they can shift from a monthly spend of $15,000 a month to $5,000 a month. While this may be feasible, given that many expenditures will be reduced post-retirement, it's a stark change for them. In a scenario like this, I often stress test the plan with slightly higher monthly figures. Let's say they wanted to spend 5,000, I'll calculate for seven or eight. If the numbers indicate that 7,000 is feasible, that's where I run the budget test drive. Now, this is how it works. If you believe you can sustain a lifestyle of $7,000 a month, aim to spend only that amount for the next six months. Should you find yourself consistently exceeding this budget by the third month, it's a signal that you probably have to recalibrate your retirement spending projections. You can then discuss these findings with your financial planner or refine your plan. This adjustment doesn't necessarily mean a drastic change. If leaving behind a sizable estate isn't a priority, then the impact of spending a little bit more might be minimal. It might just mean that you'll have less left over for your estate. Conversely, if you're consistently underspending, it might indicate that you have room for more flexibility in your retirement plan. So how do you do this test? Step one, open a checking account. 
a new one. If you're married or have a partner, ensure that this is a joint account. Step two, list and automate your essential bills. Document all the bills and expenses that you anticipate will continue in retirement. Transfer these into your newly created retirement account. Step three, create a retirement paycheck. Each month, only transfer your decided amount, let's say in this case, $7,000, to this account. Ensure all expenses, discretionary or not, are taken from here. Step four is to document and reflect. Keep an eye on the spending trends. Look at areas where you might be consistently overspending or you're not spending as much. In the instance where you finish this test and you consistently have more money left over at the end of the month, it shows that you can live on less than $7,000. So your plan is worth revisiting with your financial planner because that tells us maybe you could actually retire earlier, travel more, or allocate more funds elsewhere to giving, to education, and to other things that will fill up your life in retirement with more joy. This exercise offers a tangible insight into your retirement budget. It's not about scrimping and ensuring that you have a sustainable and feasible numbered plan. It's about enjoying the lifestyle. If you meet that target or that ceiling of $7,000, but you feel just absolutely miserable, then the financial test drive provides a realistic look into that budget. If that's too low of a ceiling for you, you will have to adjust if it doesn't feel good doing so, right? This allows you to approach this new chapter with clarity and confidence as far as fitting the bill with your budget.